Aubrey O'Day expresses her unwavering support for Cassie amidst the latter's shocking lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs, accusing him of rape and abuse. The 39-year-old pop star states that she stands firmly by Cassie's side. O'Day also takes to her Instagram story to share her thoughts, emphasizing that she has been trying to convey her concerns for years. She requests prayers for Cassie, referring to her as a queen. Don Richard, O'Day's former bandmate from Donity Kane, also extends her support on Twitter. Richard prays for Cassie and her family, wishing them peace and healing. She acknowledges Cassie's beauty and bravery. O'Day gained recognition through her participation in Combs' show, Making the Band 3, and was selected to join the girl group under his Bad Boy Records label. However, during the finale of Making the Band 4 in October 2008, Combs revealed that O'Day had been dismissed. In a December 2022 episode of the Call Her Daddy podcast, O'Day claimed that she was fired because she refused to comply with certain expectations, not related to her talent, but in other aspects. She alleges that she was the only one subjected to such treatment. Reflecting on her experience, O'Day admits to having a complex relationship with it all. She acknowledges that her success in various areas may not have been possible without the training she received under Diddy. However, she describes the experience as torturous, primarily due to the mind games and other non-work-related aspects. O'Day reveals feelings of betrayal and deception, highlighting her vulnerability and youth at the time. She further explains that women often perceive their beauty through the eyes of those observing them, primarily men. This perspective, she believes, is subjective and influences how women understand their own beauty. As a young woman, it was difficult for me to understand my worth beyond the men I was surrounded by, and it was a traumatic experience. None of us have fully healed from that, especially since there was no hashtag MeToo movement or protection at that time. Instead, we were forced to sign NDAs and contracts that stripped us of our rights. Recently, I was asked to sign another NDA by Combs, but as a supporter of women, I advised my group not to take the deal. Throughout my 13-year relationship with Combs, I experienced a pattern of abuse and control, including being forced to have sex with male prostitutes while he filmed, physical abuse, and being supplied with drugs. Towards the end of our relationship, he even forced himself into my home and raped me. After years of silence, I am finally ready to speak up for myself and other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships. As the deadline for the expiration of New York's Adult Survivors Act drew near, it became evident that this was an opportunity for me to speak out about the trauma I have endured and will continue to recover from throughout my life. Combs legal representative refuted the accusations, asserting that Cassie had been making financial demands from his client. Our client, Mr. Combs, vehemently denies these offensive and shocking allegations, the attorney stated. Over the past six months, Ms. Ventura has persistently demanded $30 million from Mr. Combs, threatening to write a damaging book about their relationship if her demands were not met. This was unequivocally rejected as an act of blatant blackmail. Despite retracting her initial threat, the lawyer continued, Ms. Ventura has now resorted to filing a lawsuit filled with baseless and outrageous falsehoods, with the intention of tarnishing Mr. Combs' reputation and seeking financial gain.